Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Hello beautiful people, lover of good things Welcome back to my channel Good morning, good afternoon Good evening. I greet all of you now according to Una time. Yes, now me, your sister, your friend, your girl, anointed lady. I beg you to you now the first time we be say you they come across this channel or you don't they watch me, you never subscribe. What you they wait for? I beg, help this channel grow. Kindly hit that subscribe button. Put on the notification bell so that anytime we be say I take drop any new video, you will come check out because for this channel, I they drop video every day as the news today knock for my table now so i tell a hit time for this channel i make enough also fail to leave your comment what do you think about the video and to all my returning subscribers i appreciate all of you now god go bless you now for the massive work we be so now they do for this channel now let god go help me bless you now wow uh good evening fellow nigerian so <clears throat> i've been having this funny feeling but i'm not going to call it funny because you know, the way God has created some of us, when things are happening, it's better we open our eyes. Um, God has blessed our generation. God has blessed our generation real good. And then we have to be very careful and watchful so that we don't get distracted by the same thing God has given us to be able to make a better generation, a better Nigeria. Gone were those days when technology wasn't that um, strong. So many things were happening we didn't know. So many things passed, like we, we wouldn't even have an idea. And then so many things happened within the government that if not for technology and social media, so many things that we will not know. And God so loved this generation so much that he has made technology come in our age, but it's left to us to make do of all these things to our personal advantage. This is a generation, we are a generation craving for change. We are craving for change like we want it now. And we are trying every angle to make sure that change comes. But let's be wise. Change will only come if our eyes are on grind and our, our hands are active and our brains are active. Let's not get distracted by all these social media um, taunts and so many other things happening on social media that we don't even concentrate on the things that we are supposed to concentrate on. Don't forget everything in life is time now there is this issue of 4.2 um, million pounds that the british government wants to return to nigeria there is issue of looted funds that has been happening since 2015 that they have been returning we are hearing these figures and then we think we cannot do anything because a lot of us have become passive about anything that has to do with nigeria like <clears throat> we are not concerned we're like what well, let it just happen that's there and people are saying nigeria is spoiled nigeria is doomed nigeria is doomed but we can revive nigeria because the caliber of people that have been in this government are the same people that have been in this government since and these people are dead brain thieves broad daylight robbers that is who our leaders and our politicians are and they know but the issue is nobody is questioning them nobody is challenging them and they feel they can do whatever it is that they want to do and that is why the powers are in our hands to continuously talk because this dump ass hear everything and they see everything going on but because we are not questioning enough that is why they are still having their ways malami 4.2 million pounds what do you people want to do with this money and you are signing an agreement that they should return it please we only need 10 ngos we only need 10 ngos that has 10 lawyers to stand up by the time you petition we're going to write a letter let's stand up let's stand up these people have sold nigeria they have sold our legacy there's nothing left for our children only god knows whether god just hid this money for us when Abacha and all of these people, they said they looted funds and kept it somewhere, somewhere. Ibori stole money and all of this. Now, these monies are coming back. Please, Ogama Lami, since 2015, all the looted funds that you have been taking, can you account for it? We still don't have light. We still don't have good medical structure. We still don't have good roads. We are still borrowing money from China. As it is, Nigeria is owing 121, uh, is it billion or trillion? British system 
this is simple issue this is public interest policy we don't need that money don't return any money to anybody and we can achieve it this is just for lawyers to stand up non-governmental organizations are so strong we don't even know the powers that we have in our hands all oh, most of us use our non-governmental organization to do is just to raise funds to feed people on the street do this we have more power and that is why they have so restrained they have so restricted registration of non-governmental organizations in nigeria because people don't even know the gravity of power that you have but these people know they know and they know that we are not utilizing it the british government should not refund any money it is either you are ready to use that money for the uh, infrastructure development for us or services or come and recolonize us let's use that money to pay you to recolonize nigeria this country is sold nigeria is sold we are we are in slavery we don't have anything to leave for our children no legacy no investment no infrastructure no policy nothing and now malami is running up and down this money people will collect it and use it to do election 2023 the same way people kept rice and palliatives you refuse to share because you were keeping it to beg to to, to beg feed the masses now another fund is coming why is it about us fund that people collected what have you done with it just show us one project one project that you have done with it this is not fair you borrow money from china about 320 million dollars is still hanging somewhere please susan william we are we are writing letters everybody should stand up write petition write letters gather yourself lawyers gather ourselves in tents let us write so that these people will not collect this money we don't need it there is they are not coming to use this money to do anything for us the ones that they have been collecting, no accountability. Except Malami can come out publicly. You people call yourself public servants. You are public thieves. You people steal public funds. Now, I heard that uh, Delta State has gone to court. Those ones are claiming that the money belongs to them. Federal government is claiming that the money belongs to them. You people are active now. Shameless people. Because money is coming. That is what people do. And I, and I even doubt it if Buari knows all these things because that man, that man called Buari, I don't even have a word for you anymore because I'm not going to waste my energy on somebody like you. You have failed us. Outright failure. There's nothing you people have done. We are begging you. I am begging you non-governmental organizations to wake up to this call. This is your call. This is our time. This is what we can do. They have no right to stop us. The constitution backing non-governmental organizations is stronger than what we think. And this is where we can fight this now. If we rise up to right, they will not release these funds to Nigerian government. And as long as this fund is not released to Nigerian government, we are aware that this money is there. We are aware. It's even good that we are aware. When we need it, we will call for it. Because the Attorney General of this Federation, I have no idea of what you are using those funds for. What you people do with those money, I basically don't understand. Maybe there is another heaven. You people keep this money that you are going to enjoy it when you get to heaven and you die. I have no idea. But please, fellow Nigerians, let's not get tired of this country. It's our motherland. It's our motherland. Let's not get tired. The pen is mightier than the sword. Let's rise up to do what we need to do. Let's not be distracted by social media activities or illicit things on social media or irregular things. We can enjoy ourselves. We can be happy. We can be funny. We can play. We can do everything. But eyes on the ball. Eyes on the ball. These people know. That's why tomorrow you tell them they want to say they are passing social law against social media. Eyes on the ball. They are distracting us. We are distracting ourselves with too many things. And at the end of the day, our time will pass and let this generation not fail like our fathers failed us my father failed me a lot of people call me and say why do i talk so much about this country i tell them shut up you failed so if you failed you have no right to tell me why i'm standing up for my own children 4.2 million pounds is no joke money that money will rebuild nigeria in whichever angle we want it to but that money will come to this country and nothing will be done all the monies that they were blowing whistle, EFCC recovery. What have you people done? We are still owing. Can you help us channel this money to go and pay our loans and give us receipts? 
what can be done ngos rise up we only need lawyers to write we only need you to write please let's rise up let these people not taunt our lives again let these people stop ripping from all this our recoveries please it is good enough that these monies are coming back but it is bad enough that they are going into the wrong hands i've not seen a politician who is a saint it is either they are brainless or they have no idea or they are only listening to their godfathers and their godmothers and whoever is controlling them and remoting them to do this and do that they don't even put responsible qualified personnel in places of office to be able to do things right they only use all these comp political offices as competition to people who supported their political this and that it's not supposed to be so let our generation stand up they fear us they fear us already. They know that we are a generation that will make change. But let's not be distracted. This change, we, we will be the landmark of it. And we will achieve it only if we keep our eyes on the balls. We are getting too distracted. We are getting too distracted. Let these musicians and all these things not be distracting us. So help us God.